Hello boxing fans, let's talk about the champion who destroyed the challenger inside the ring. On March 26, 2016, the IBF World Welterweight Champion and undefeated Kelbrook with 35 wins and 24 knockouts from the United Kingdom faced the challenger Kevin Bizier with 25 wins, 17 knockouts, and 2 losses from Canada. Brooke got the IBF belt after he won against undefeated Sean Porter via majority decision last August 16, 2014. The champion Brooke defended the belt twice before facing the challenger Bizier for the third title defense. In the first round, the champion landed first of his punches. Huge step up here in his bid to become a world welterweight champion. I just think he a big uppercut from the champion to rock the challenger. At least with his pride and pack. Oh, a big solid right hand has rocked it already and he followed it up straight away. Brooke lands another one. It is a target practice from the champion in the whole round one. Good way likes in the first round here. He comes around the back of the guard. Can't miss. Trying to come forward, trying to get his punches off. Force was the man that was going to be pushed. That got him his number one spot with the IBF. He is not all sanctioning bodies. But there is toughness and determination. Brooke is just using it for target practice here. Uh, I mean, Brooke has to fight him as a man. In the second round, a big combination came from the champion. Maybe he's had a, a little rocket back in the corner. Nah. Terrific stuff from Brooke. Yeah, Brooke put him straight back in his place. Well, he's pushing. Expecting a tough night, you can call. In 1 minute and 16 seconds, a huge left hook from the champion stumbles the legs of the challenger. Followed by the massive combinations to drop the challenger on the canvas for the first time in the fight. The challenger is in a bloody nose but is able to make his feet. However, the champion quickly attacked the challenger to drop him for the second time in the fight. Been moving for the finish here because Fizier is coming apart. The legs have gone again. I don't think he was done for the first one. He's looking. The challenger is badly hurt, and after counting to five, referee Marcus McDonald waved the fight off, declaring Brooke a winner via technical knockout in round two. Absolutely battered. Kel Brook, ten months of inactivity, and it's over. The champion destroyed the challenger in 2 minutes and 15 seconds in just only 2 rounds with 2 knockouts to retain the IBF World Welterweight belt.